You wanna know the meaning of catharsis? Out of all the archetypes I covered on this show by now, I think Blois is the one that requires the absolute least amount of spiders. <coughs> Surprisingly though, Yu-Gi-Oh cards are actually real, unlike my penis. <coughs> We start, of course, with the most vanilla of all eyes, Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's a dragon, and that's about all you need to know. To this day, it's the ultimate dragon in terms of attack and defense. Wait a minute. It's a big stupid dragon, yeah. though there is very little reason to exist. <laughs> However, what you won't be spending any cash dollars on is Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean their first fusion, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. This bloated piece of crap requires you to fuse three of the original Blue Eyes, for which you get 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 go, 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 go. Adding on to that, we have Dragon Master Aether, which is a fusion of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and me, which must be fusion summoned and gains 5 attack. If you were looking for the most convoluted way to beat your meat, this would probably be their best option. Speaking of beasts, their first ritual monster is Paladin of White Dragon. That's not a head, that's a bean. Which you can ritual summon with Titanium White Dragon Ritual. Titanium White Dragon Ritual is just a by the numbers ritual summoning spell. This was and still is the only monster in the game, and all things considered, it's bad. If you really want to run it because of style points, you can try a pre 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 Bother. It finally gets a bit interesting with Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, a level 10,000 main deck monster which cannot be special summoned and must be special summoned during either player's turn. This monster puts it pop, cute 16 year old girl's face down, Come on. which is something you couldn't do in the TCG because loss or something. God. Well, then it's your health, cream pie. Something, something. Mm, what's that say? Before moving on, I shortly have to point out that I'm moving on. Priestess with Eyes of Blue is a level 1 tuner spellcaster with zero attack and defense, and if this card fucks, you search a blue eyes. It's just a bad version of a bad spell that was bad. This one. If at first you don't succeed, suck to me. Their last tuner is the White Stone of Ancients, an Eggman tuner with the following effect. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can piss on the moon! And because there had to be a point behind all these goddamn tuners, here's Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. He's got blue eyes and has the following effects. Neither player can kill themselves. Aww. At any time, Spirit Dragon can tag out into any light synchro which doesn't need to be properly special summoned first. The most relevant options here include Bad Dragon, Stardust Speedway, and of course, Michael Jackson, which protects itself during the end phase destruction. <laughs> If there was ever a king Spirit Dragon was specifically designed to assassinate, he was king. Still absolutely the centerpiece of the Blue Eyes Control Toolbox variant and should be ran at 55. Ah! Regardless of possessions, it was a bit strange how there was no suck. So a quick final solution to that problem was introduced in the form of Blue Eyes Heavy Metal Dragon, named after his impeccable music taste. Must first be special summoned from your hand by revealing the strongest monster in the game in your hand. Once per turn, you can special summon your deck. The worst thing about the card is that it has no GF, but it's still a fantastic card and you mostly want to max out on it. Which is sadly not the case with the... The movie pack also introduced another fusion, that being Sado Kaiba wearing a fursuit. It requires three Blue Eyes White Dragons as materials, and at the end of the damage step, if this is the only face-up card you control, and this fusion summon card attacked, and you're not game, and your opponent is playing a completely different card game, and you have seven Crystal Beast cards with different names on the field or in your graveyard, and your game, you win the duel. To say the least, it sucks. You can't even summon it during the standby phase. Stock up on that Curse of Fiend. Thankfully, the movie pack introduced another boss monster for the archetype, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, which you can ritual summon with Chaos Control. Chaos Control allows you to extremely beefy body, surprising amount of protection, a level which gives you a foot massage, and of course, a big day. Overall, Chaos Max is a Mormon, and that's why it's so good. Actually, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon is shit, and so are you. Oh, oh, well. Fuck you. Fuck you too, rank 10, you get. Oh, fuck You know what, I'm tired of working on this review, let's talk about card games instead. I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, but I do know that Sly Frame players should be My going down in the streets like the degenerates no they cards, Kaiba, but it does contain... Blue Eyes White Dragon, as a card and as a concept, has arguably left a more noteworthy mark on my ass than on the game itself. If someone only vaguely knows what Yu-Gi-Oh is, chances are they actually kinda like sucking fat dragon cocks, and will probably burst into hysteric laughter if you show them images like these ones. On the other hand, in the actual game, Blue Eyes is hardly more noteworthy than Submarine Roid Beatdown, save for that one time it won worlds because Konami wanted to promote the Kaiba Man spin-off comic. Hey YouTube, unfortunately, I have a penis. 
Okay, that one took a lot longer than I expected. Regardless, thank you all for watching this YouTube. YouTube. I'm Rado Garasu, and I'll see you next time. Or not. See you in another seven months. <laughs>